Hey everyone, it's Desiree, and I thought that I would do a video today to show you my 2016 setup in my original A5 patent leather fuchsia Filofax. Now, um, if you've been kind of hanging around on this channel, uh, first of all, thank you for coming back to check out this video. But you also know that last year I used a Franklin Covey in addition to an Aaron Condren planner. And while that system was working okay, I have refined it a little bit. Um, I kind of got bored with the Franklin Covey planner because it was just black and I really missed having some color. And I do know that now they have some new planners out that are very colorful, but I was not looking to spend any more money um, just to have some color. And so I've had this um, original Filofax for a few years. Last year, literally all it did was sit on a shelf. So I decided to bring it back out and use it for 2016. And so I'm going to show you how I have it set up. Now, uh, my planner is not, quote, a pretty, pretty planner so to speak. Um, I, it's more for functionality and um, it's not, I don't know how to decorate, you know, really pretty like a lot of you girls out there who are so talented and creative. But um, I think it looks nice for me and so um, yeah, I'll show you how I've got it set up inside. Okay, so I kind of propped this up here just to make it look a little bit, to have a little bit easier to see. Um, this is obviously the inside of the planner. And again, as you can see, I don't have um, a whole lot of beautiful um, things going on. It's, it's basically just a functional setup. Um, I do have a little bit of accents here and there, but it's not anything spectacular. But I did have a couple of you ask me what planner am I using this year. So I hope um, that you find this interesting and it answers the question. So this is the inside of the planner, of course. Uh, in this pocket, I've got... <clears throat> excuse me, these cute little page flags that I bought at a stationery store in um, Hawaii when we were there this past um, Thanksgiving. And I had never seen these before and they're post-it flags, but they come in these really cute little um, designs and I hope it's focusing, I can't really tell on the camera. But anyway, um, they were very overpriced, but I thought they were pretty and I had never seen them before, so I decided to buy them. And that is all I keep in here. Now I don't like to keep a pen or anything in here because any type of like um, bumps or um, things over here, it just drives me crazy when I have the planner open and this is not laying flat. So in this pocket, um, I have a cute little Heidi Swap card that just says hello. And then I have um, my training schedule. I'm doing the Tinkerbell Half Marathon this year. And this is my uh, training schedule that marks down, you know, how many miles you should run and by when, so you can be sure that you are in shape for the half marathon. Okay, on this side is a dashboard, oops, is a dashboard that I made and this is a page that I took out of a smash book. It just says, you win. I laminated it. And it's got um, graph paper on this side. And I just really like it. I like when I open up my planner, and that's the first thing I see. Uh, the next page is just the fly leaf that came with the planner. And then these are um, some Project Life, um, what are they called? Cards that, that are in the... Um, I think it's like a planner or a journal or something like that. But anyways, I just cut it down, punched it, and then um, put it in here because I think I'm going to write my goals or something. I'm not sure how I'm going to use this page, but I just liked it, so I threw it in. And, oh, one of the things that you will notice is that I do not have tabs along the side. I have finally discovered, after years and years, that I do not like tabs in my planner. I find them bulky. I find that they get in the way 
and when I've um, used tabs in the past they've always gotten messed up or bent or something so I've just kind of decided I don't like tabs and I just use um, colored cardstock as my dividers and I made these myself this is just hot pink cardstock with some uh, glitter washi tape and it works for me so the way I have this set up um, I only have a month on two pages and then I have um, daily pages in the back and that's pretty much it so I have the Filofax inserts. Um, they're not my favorite, but I needed inserts to um, get started, and I wanted—I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money. I'm not good at printing out my own inserts, so I prefer to just buy them already done so I can just throw them in the book. So I bought these off Amazon. They were like 20 some odd bucks. Again, not my favorite. The paper is a little too thin, but it works. So here is my setup. I have this, um, what is this, Project Life card as the divider for my month on two pages. And this is January. And what I like to do is when I'm in the mood, I just go ahead and decorate the pages for as much as I can until I don't feel like decorating anymore. So I've already decorated up to May. And again, obviously, you can see I'm not <laughs> very crafty, but uh, it looks pretty to me, and I like the color. Okay, so um, this is the month on two pages, my next section here. Oh, and I've also got some, oh, these are my goals here. Now, this is a really cute thing that I did. So I created another divider. Um, with the hot pink cardstock and then what I did is I just folded it in and then I have my goals written on here and some of them are kind of you know private and personal so what I do is I have it like that so if I, I have my planner open or if my mom comes over because I keep my planner open on the table if someone's nosy, they can't really see everything. And it also works as a divider. So this is also starting my daily pages as well. Um, again, they're file effects inserts. Uh, I may change them out at some point in the year, but right now they're working. So um, this is my... What is it? Oh, <laughs> just had a brain fart. Uh, this is my uh, day per page, and I'll show you one that's not all written over. Um, I have a whole day, I mean a whole page for each day, and then when you get to the weekend, um, it has Saturday and Sunday on one page. And I do the same thing with these. I just, I just keep decorating with some washi tape and stickers, you know, and I just work as far as I can and then when I don't feel like decorating anymore I just don't and then that way I don't have to set aside time um, every week or every you know day to decorate I just have it done for like a week or a month in advance okay so um, again this is another one of my little homemade I guess dividers with the cardstock and then this separates the months so I know when I get to this next one I'm starting in February and then I have the same thing for um, March and I haven't decided if I like I said I might do like um, a vision board on these pages that way I can look at them every month I haven't quite decided but I do like the way um, this looks and I like the way it's working for me so We'll see if I decide, you know, if I, what I decide to do and when I do figure it out, I will update with another video. Okay, so um, I have my daily pages all the way up until August 1st. And then I have a note section, which is just blank um, note paper. And uh, these are actually the blank pages that were in my Erin Condren that I didn't use. So what I did is I ripped them out, cut them down, and then I hole punched them. And now I use them as note pages in here. And that's what that is. More notes. And then at the very back I have a top loading pocket. And in here I have the um, to-do list from the Leonie Dawson 
plan your life workbooks or something like that I think it's called I don't actually use these to do pages but I just printed one out and stuck it in this pocket because I I like the way it looks and I think it's really pretty so um, that's what's in here and again this is more for looks I don't use it at all then this last part is a zipper pocket and again this is um, repurposed from my Erin Condren planner what I did is I just cut this out um, from the Erin Condren and then I trimmed it and then I hole punched it and now I have a zip pocket for the back of my Filofax because I was actually gonna buy one but then I realized I could just kind of repurpose this from my Erin Condren since I'm not using it there um, in the back I have this laminated glitter page that acts as a page lifter and then I have more um, blank paper in the back and again I don't like to keep anything on here because um, I like when the book lays flat and I can write in it oh and I don't know if you noticed this but I have a little charm here and it's a D for my name Desiree and that just hangs here at the bottom so that is how I've got my file of facts set up for 2016 I do love the patent leather I love the color um, it stays in really good shape like I said this is probably about three years old I mean I didn't use it a whole lot in the last couple years but I mean it still looks pretty much brand new you know I mean not hardly any wear on it at all and I like that you can just wipe it clean as well so okay thank you guys so much for watching and um, I hope you're having a great start to 2016 and I will see you in the next video bye